Hey everyone, welcome back. And today I wanted to go over the latest results with the uh, most recent T Rex Minor LHR Unlock version, which is 0 0.25.12. So 0 0.25.12. It is on their uh, T Rex download GitHub site. You can go get it now. And uh, I just want to show you what I'm getting on the 3060 Ti's and this. These cards are isolated. I have them running now for almost, well, almost five full days. And these are the results I am getting. So we are looking at two different brands, EVGA RTX 3060 Ti, 49.17 on average mega hash mining ETH hash on the ezil.me mining pool. This is where I mine ETH and I get Zill as well. Zillica paid out. Temperature 61. Power is always under 140 for this card. Uh, I run the fans at 75%. So not bad. Now the uh, second gigabyte, the second uh, 3060 Ti is a gigabyte. 3060 Ti, and that gets slightly lower performance numbers. Mega hash 47, I've seen 48. And uh, you can see the unlock there is 78.3. <clears throat> on the uh, EVGA, I get an unlock of 78.5% LHR right there. And you see the power is a little higher usage, even though I'm using the same the same uh, uh, overclock settings. And it's kind of interesting to see that. It just shows you how each brand is different. Is that the uh, uh, silicon lottery? I have no idea. But you'll see the uh, EVGA, I, I burn about 133 watts, and I get better hash rate. 49 and then you see the uh, gigabyte burns a little over what 10 more 13 more watts and it fluctuates a little bit you saw it drop there it, it fluctuates but it's always higher but you get a little bit less mega hash and that's just every card is different you got to go with a base starting point when you're tuning these cards in as people uh, some memory settings in that may crash your card, others may not. Not every card is the same, so you, there isn't just one setting, one set of settings, whatever, uh, overclock settings that make these cards perform at their max. you got to consider power usage and the actual card, how it behaves to those settings, because you'll start getting uh, blue screens of death if you're running in Windows. And that's what you're at looking here. That's what you're looking at here is I am running in Windows, Windows 10. I don't run Hive OS. So, uh, yeah, I just run straight Windows, a batch file, and download T-Rex Miner directly to my Windows. And I'm running the latest NVIDIA driver as of March, uh, March April 22nd, 2022. Uh, latest NVIDIA driver has been installed. I used a DDU device to uninstall the previous versions of all my NVIDIA drivers. Ran it in safe mode. I made a video on that and installed the latest NVIDIA driver to make sure everything else was cleared out. The registries were cleared out. Uh, yeah, because if you don't, sometimes you get 999 errors or some strange errors from these software miners like T-Rex. So you have to make sure you clean out these NVIDIA drivers correctly. And DDU is a free download. You just have to know how to reboot in so uh, soft mode, safe mode and uh, run the software to clean it out and unplug from the internet so Windows does not try to force feed uh, their version of the NVIDIA driver. You have to do that because even when you disable Windows Auto Update, it still tries to force the NVIDIA driver. So you got to unplug. I have a video on that. Just go look it up in my, uh, in my videos from the past month. You'll see it. All right. So we've been running, like I said, for five days almost, and uh, average uh, hash rate about 97 on two 3060 Ti's. Not bad at all, much better than I was getting. And uh, I'm enjoying it. I'm getting, the, getting as much juice out of these GPUs as I can, despite NVIDIA's efforts to uh, discourage mining on their cards. Again, NVIDIA has said they put in the LHR, the low hash rate algorithm, to stop mining. They don't like miners for some reason. I don't know why. As an NVIDIA shareholder, I'm very not very upset with this, not pleased with them because the stock is down 30% since I bought it. I'm in the red. And if they would just make a 
product line of crypto mining GPUs and keep their gaming GPUs, they would, God, they would tenfold their money, their profits, because miners buy one to many cards, gamers typically buy one card. So I don't know where they're missing the business model there, where they're missing the market. I don't understand it. It's crazy to me. Focus on a brand, on a product line for crypto mining. You know, put no, no, take the fluff off, no, no LEDs, none of this crap. Just make a card with the fans to keep it cool. Crypto mining 3080 model. You know what I mean? Just make it for that and then make your, your 3080 for uh, gaming with all the uh, fancy LEDs and spinny stuff. I don't get why they don't do it. It's a, it's a, there's a customer base out there and they're just putting this LHR crap out there to uh, discourage mining. Thank God for T-Rex miner developers. Kudos to them. LOL miner guys too for going after that LHR and unlocking as best they can and getting the most juice out of these cards. So anyway, that's my rant on that. So now let's look at these settings in T-Rex miner in my batch file. Like I said, I'm going to this mining pool right here, the easel.me and where that, that is where you can specify your Ethereum wallet and your Zill wallet and get paid out in both. Uh, you get the rewards in Zill and that's that's turning out quite profitable. You know, it's a couple bucks, but you can also then stake the Zill in a wallet and get 14% on uh, by doing that. So not bad at all. I get also 4.5% interest, if you will, rewards by staking Ethereum on Voyager. And there's a link below if you want to sign up for Voyager. I do it. People don't like that because your coins are out there, but I, I don't know. I it's a, it's a risk, right? You can put them in your wallet, stick them in a safe, but I just want to get some dividends or some rewards on the crypto I have, right? While it just is not, you know, now, now we're in kind of a down market. Why not get something out of the coins you're holding, right? That's the way I look at it. Okay, here are my settings. These are the ones that matter. You know, the fan, I just have 75. You can set yours accordingly. Some, some fans I do... I do uh, run it 100% because fans are cheap. If they go, you can just replace those. Once you strip one GPU apart, the rest are easy. To, you know, first time you're nervous, but it's not that bad. All right, so here I have a memory clock of 1500. Again, these are Windows 10 settings. Hive OS is typically double. I don't know why that is. I have never figured out why Hive OS overclock settings with memory are double than what you put on Windows. It's very confusing. So that's why I say I'm always running Windows 10. Why? Because I'm cheap and I can do this stuff myself. Hive OS looks great. I just don't want to pay any fees because everything adds up and my power is not the cheapest. I think I'm at 13 cents a kilowatt hour. So it adds up and uh, I just don't want to give anyone else any more money. I want to keep as much money in my pocket for once. I then use the uh, absolute core clock lock setting, and this is uh, contr to control the watt usage and kind of make your card more efficient is what I found. You can uh, directly set the core clock if you want to. I don't know what that setting is. This is the lock core clock. When you set this, and I set it to 1450, you do not need to set the PL, the power level, and you don't need to set the core clock. You just set the memory clock and the lock core clock, and you're good to go. Other settings I have are LHR Auto-Tune Step Size. This this kind of just will go through and just, hey, let's just creak up, creak up. As it's finding its way, as the T-Rex Miner runs over a period of time, it tunes in the best performance on your car, car, on your card. And uh, here's your interval you can set as well, LHR Auto-Tune Interval 5. This kind of helps it. I have run the batch file without any of this LHR tuning parameters and it's fine as well. I don't know. So you can try it without, you can keep it clean, just put your overclocks, your fan speed and your uh, wallet addresses and you're good to go. Yeah. So there you go. You see it now. Yeah. You see what we're at 78.5 LHR unlock and the uh, LHR unlock at 78.3 on the gigabyte. So we're burning about 39, uh, I'm 49.37 on the EVGA. And 47.56 in a gigabyte. Anyway, there's a quick update. T-Rex Miner for the win. Kudos to the, de the devs for going after that LHR low hash rate thing and trying to just bring it down. And shame on NVIDIA for having that in place because we did spend money on these cards, guys. And I do own stock in NV NVIDIA, and I'm not too pleased about all this crap. 
So anyway, it's good that there are people out there helping miners get the most out of their cards. All right, guys, that's all I got. Talk to you later. I'm out.